Hello, Summer Shade. It's Mr. Jonathan here, and I am so glad you're here with us today because I cannot wait to tell you what we are going to do. But before we start, I want you to think back to a time where you got a little injury. Maybe you were riding your bike and you fell off, or maybe you were at branches and you jumped off the swing and you scraped your knee, or maybe you just got a paper cut. What you probably did to make it feel better was slap on a good old band-aid. And usually, in a day or two, your cut feels better and it goes away. But have you ever wondered what are we supposed to do about the hurt and the cuts and the pain that we feel on the inside sometimes? Do you think if we just cover ourselves in band-aids all over, that'll help? One nap later. Mm. Please don't try it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So, if band-aids don't work, then what are we supposed to do on the days when we feel like this <sighs> or like this or like this so i know i definitely have days like that sometimes and they can be really hard but thankfully we don't have to cover ourselves in band-aids or just bottle it all up inside until we burst jesus has given us the answer to deal with those things and it is in his word so I want to show you an awesome craft that I made that you can make at home too that can help us deal with those feelings that we have sometimes. So for the craft we're going to do today, you're going to need just a couple things. The first thing you're going to need is a good pair of scissors. Next thing are some markers, two band-aids, and a good clean piece of paper. And when you put all those together, you will have your very own first aid kit for the field. So this is mine that I made and you can decorate yours however you want to. So you're gonna take the piece of paper and you're gonna fold it in half like a little book and then you can decorate the front however you want. And you're gonna take the two band-aids and you're gonna make them into a cross on the front of your first aid kit. Because we know when we get scrapes or cuts on our physical bodies, we can usually just fix it with a band-aid. But when we have hurt and pain on the inside, it's not that easy. But Jesus is the answer. So inside our first aid kit for the feels, I have two scriptures. So you can pick out any two scriptures that you like, but two in here are ones that I really like that really help me. So the first one is Jeremiah 17, 14. And the second is Isaiah 41.10. So Jeremiah 17.14 says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. You are my praise. So under this category, I left space to write things down that I want to get out of me and that I want to give to God. So maybe things that you feel like you need healing in, or maybe things your friends or your family need healing in, you can give those things to God and write them down in the space below here. So some examples that I have are my mom and dad. You could pray for your parents. Maybe you're having bad thoughts in your head that you just can't get rid of. Maybe you're feeling lazy or unmotivated, or maybe you're even feeling depressed. It happens to all of us and you're not in it alone and God does not leave us alone. So over here, I have Isaiah 41.10, which says, Do not fear anything, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God, and I will strengthen and help you always. So over on this side, I put some things that I might feel anxious about or might, that might be worrying me. So some examples might be like, will things ever be normal again? Or what about my grades? And what will school be like when we go back? Maybe you have sick family members, or maybe you're just anxious in general about what's happening in the world. It's okay, and God wants to be there for you in those things. So in your first aid kit, you're gonna take the things that you want to give to God, and you're going to put them in your first aid kit, and he's going to give you his peace. So something I think is really important to know, especially about this scripture, when God says, do not fear, God's not telling us not to feel fear because we can't always control our feelings. They can come and go a thousand times each day. 
But what he is saying is when you do feel fear, trust and have faith in him and know that he loves you and that he will surely help you with what you are going through. All right, so this is my first aid kit I made. I hope you have so much fun making yours because this is very useful to have around when you feel like you are just so full of stuff that you want to get out and maybe you don't have anyone to talk to. This is a great way to put it on paper and give it to God because no matter what, he is always there for you and he is always listening. I, I miss you guys so much and I will see you later. Bye. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all social media. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.